So I totally thought that I had my video on <laughs> when I was drawing my crane. So just to kind of show you, I talked through this much of the crane. So what you're gonna end up doing, it doesn't matter that I have this one. I'm gonna go ahead and um, kind of finish him out. All right, because you're gonna end up having more than one. So, okay. I'm gonna come back to this crane later and I'm gonna pick another one over here. So I have a crane set up over here. And what I did is I first kind of decide where on my paper it's going to be. So my arm is stock straight and I'm gonna kind of use my pencil to help me. This is called the line of sight. So I'm kind of gonna set up an area on my paper. So I've decided that, you know, the length is to here. Well, how wide is it across? Well, it's about even, so it's about a square. So I'm just gonna put this in, okay. Now the wings, they kind of go at a diagonal. So I'm just gonna put one in here where I think roughly the line is. And then I'm gonna start drawing the outline of this. And I'm gonna look at my crane more than I'm gonna look at my paper, okay? So when you draw something from real life, you actually look at it more, okay? So this is the position of my crane. So it'll kind of be, I guess it's kind of good I have that. So I'm gonna start by looking at this part on the real crane, okay? So I'm starting with the wing and it's okay if it goes off the page. You actually want some of it too because that will make it make, it'll, it'll be more interesting. And I start by kind of sketching it. So when I'm looking at this part, I can actually measure and say, this is this and this is this. You could do it with a real ruler. You could say, well, if this is two inches and this is this and transfer that over, or you can eyeball it. I'm gonna eyeball it. And then the head goes up. And it's gonna actually cover up some of this and that's okay. So I'm gonna put that in there. And I have this kind of square for the center. So I'm just kind of putting it in. And I need to decide like how much of the length. So like the wing is the same length as the head, but that's only about half the width of the neck. And then I need to account for, like I'm just putting in shape. So this square, okay, it's it's got the square top and then it has sides, okay? Cause it's gotta end up to be kind of cuby, although it's wrinkled paper, so it's a little different. So this actually comes in and the, the tail comes out and this goes down, here's my tail, okay. So now I've got kind of roughly what I need. I wanna go ahead and put in this other wing though, so that I don't forget it, although it's, that's the wrong angle. It's actually down a little bit. So I'm gonna do it down, put it in, hold it over, okay. So now I've got a sketch. I can come in with my ruler though and I can actually make these lines a little bit, you know, straighter to kind of help. And I'm doing it real light because I, I need the ability to erase if I make a mistake. This is too big, so I'm gonna erase it. Now, when we did the positive and negative space drawing, we talked about the space. This is a positive shape. So there is no real outline. Like on my hand, there's no outline between my finger and the air. It's just my finger is a color. So we're gonna make this a value. So I'm just gonna pick up my 2B and I'm just gonna real lightly kind of fill it in because my pencil is what's actually making the value, okay? So I wouldn't have a real hard line here. I would actually erase my hard line. That's why I say draw soft because it would be, you know, it would be the, it's like the edge of something that's making the line. Okay. And then I kind of have a crease in here. So I'm put a little line because that's actually, there would be a light side and a dark side. Now up in here, it gets kind of dark. Like right in here, it's right in there, it's dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and shade that in. And I kind of tend to jump around when I'm drawing because if I focus in one area and then I found out I made a mistake, it makes me upset. 
So I kind of do a little bit of everywhere and put in some basic stuff that way. Like, let's say I made a mistake on this tail and I have to erase the whole thing because it's in the wrong spot. Well, right now I don't have much to go on, so it's not that big of a deal. And when you draw, you end up erasing a lot. Let's see, there's that. And it's darker, if you look. Move this a little bit closer. This is darker. So I need to make it darker on this paper. I'm not gonna invest too much in it right now. I'm just kind of putting it in because, you know, I start out with a whole sketch, then I start out with a whole simple value. Then I'm gonna move to adding more and more and more. Now there's a line here, the shadow, and then there's that. You cannot see it, but there is actually like a bright, like if I turn it this way, you see how there's that white spot? That's the highlight. You can't see it, but I can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. So I just kind of create an area and then on either side, I make it dark. And I'm doing it real light to begin with. And actually this is in shadow, this part of the neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bit darker and put the shadow in. This actually connects to here, so should connect up there and kind of remember this was like a fold so it comes up into there and then also into there so that really helps make that look like a shadow um, it also comes up and into the top and then this is also like another area where it's kind of darker and lighter I'm just gonna add in my value I like to smear it Um, I don't know where your phone is, but I'm making a video. That was Ryan. He says hello. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this. Now, when this is overlapping, in your drawing, you might have areas. Because I want you to overlap some of the birds. I want you to have at least four, five. Cause this is a really great exercise. So if this is behind... It would be lighter and then this would be that what's in front would be lighter and what's dark would be behind. so now you can see how that shadow helps make it look that way and i'm going to put in more of my crinkly there's a fold here and i just keep going and i just keep adding more and more shading more and more lines until i get it how i want now i I kind of want to fill this all in a little bit, but then there are highlights. The brightest part of this is in this. So I'm going to go ahead and use my eraser to kind of whiten it out. And then I'm going to come in where the dimples are and put my shading back in. And I can always switch, like that was a 2B. I'm going to switch to a 4B so I can get these shadows a little bit better in these deep crevices. And there's a fold, and whenever you have a fold, if it helps you, you'll find YouTube tutorials on crevices, folds. They'll usually do cloth, but you can watch a couple of them if it helps. but your goal is to try to draw it as realistically as you can. Now, mine is still very sketchy and that's fine. You know, especially depending, I need to get this wing going on in here. And this wing, is actually lighter than the neck. And I'm not really drawing a line. Remember, I'm like, there's a shadow here, so I need to go darker. But remember, I'm actually like trying to fill in the whole shade I can take my 6B and where it is the absolute darkest, put that in. So it's the absolute darkest under here, here, and here. And it's even this, is it's in shadow, so it needs to be darker. Like you wanna have a range of value, okay? And this even has a shadow. If I wanted to put the shadow in, I could. I'm not gonna add shadows yet 
because I'm gonna turn my birds a whole bunch of different directions. But now I have two cranes and then I would add another.